Hello, everyone. My name is Wei Jingyuan. I'm a PhD student at the University of California, Irvine. I'm presenting on behalf of my wonderful team, uh, consisting of Zhao Zhuli at Washington University in St. Louis, Julia Wagner at ETH Zurich, Seth Frey at the University of California, Davis, and Benjamin Mako Hill at the University of Washington, Seattle. The title of our research project is One Path or Many, Policy Development and Diffusion Across Wikipedia Language Editions. The motivation of our research project is the drive for self-governance. We know that environmental and resource constraints could drive self-governance. So do errors and lessons of community members. Therefore, we have seen a striking diversity as well as consonances in how different communities solve the same set of problems. It has been difficult for us to predict when a set of institutions will converge or diverge in terms of their solutions to the same governance challenge. That has le led us to, to the research question. Uh, will organizations facing a similar set of challenge build similar sets of rules? When they do converge on similar solutions, do they follow the same path to get there? How much does the policy development depend on group sites, on culture, or anything else? Wikipedia has provided a great opportunity for us to study uh, self-governance and collective action institutions. Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia with editions in 316 languages. All these language editions were hosted by a common umbrella organization, the Wikimedia Foundation, and they share a common uh, physical server infrastructure. Each of the Wikipedia language editions is peer produced and self-governing. The users could write their own rules coded by languages. Wikipedia has been proved to be a productive platform for studying policy processes. The, the Wikipedia language editions are highly comparable collective action institutions. They are open community driven structure and they pursue the same mission under the same constraints. All these characteristics made Wikipedia language editions to be an ideal case for uh, studying policy diffusion, which is the topic of our research. Yeah. Using wiki data, especially MediaWiki's cross wiki linking page, we were able to construct the policy structure across Wikipedia language editions. On the right hand side, we have the language policy bipartite network where we have 60 shared policies and 245 language editions. The policies are the nodes in blue and the language editions are the nodes in yellow. In total, there are 3,600 instances of policy adoptions that, that would be, that's the, the edges in this uh, network. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the policy sharing patterns. On the right hand side, we have the one mode projection of the policy language network. The, uh, the nodes are wiki language editions. The edges are weighted by the number of shared policies. The network is very tightly connected. And in the core, there are 30 fully connected language editions sharing at least 37 policies with one another. The English edition has adopted nearly all the policies that are shared across the editions. We did not find no evidence of clustering based on cultural traditions, though. And secondly, we move on to looking at the drives uh, for the order of adoption. This figure shows that popularity actually uh, drives the order of adoption. Um, on the x-axis, we have the order of policy creation within the wiki. And on the y-axis, we have popularity rank. The figure shows that uh, the more popular a policy is, the sooner it will be uh, adopted uh, within a Wikipedia uh, a language edition. And thirdly, we took a look at the uh, sequence of policy adoption. A sequence clustering analysis shows that despite the variations, we have found a relatively strong uh, policy adoption of sequence. That means we have found generally a common path for Wikipedia language editions to adopt uh, policies. This could be explained by uh, shared constraints, for example, resource limits, shared mission, constitutional structure. A common policy adoption path suggests that uh, these shared constraints may play a larger role than addition-specific constraints. In conclusion, 
Wikipedia provides a rare case of highly comparable policy systems developing in parallel, which enables us to test the theories of policy development. Our analysis has found that policies are widely shared among different language editions. There is little evidence of policy adoption based on cultural traditions. And we have found that policy adoption is mainly driven by popularity. A sequence analysis reveals that as we have a single developmental path across all these Wikipedia language editions. I want to note that our analysis only look at shared policies. Um, that means we could only answer questions like when a policy get diffused, how it got diffused. Right? We cannot answer questions like among all the policies, why some of them got diffused as others did not. To, to pursue the, the latter question, we would need to collect a more comprehensive set of policy, including not just the shared policies, but also policies that are unique to certain Wikipedia editions. And secondly, I want to note that um, our analysis is based on the fact of policy, but we didn't go into the content of, of the policy. It's very possible that even though uh, two, two uh, Wikipedia editions are, uh, have a, uh, the same policy under the same name, the rules written under this policy could be completely contradictory, right? We would need to have future studies looking more into that. Thoroughly, we were also wondering about the generalizability of policy adoption patterns we found uh, on Wikipedia. How would that apply to, for example, uh, policy adoption across political institutions? Would that be different? Uh, would we still be seeing a common path right across different political institutions? And lastly, we have identified this single developmental uh, ladder for policy adoption. Uh, but what are the mechanisms? Right. Some of them are possible, the common mission, uh, resource constraints, or environmental factors, and how and to what extent they could affect the uh, policy development processes. Future studies would benefit from looking more into that. Okay. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.